the Foot of the Cross is a production of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. It is a reflection on the Gospels of the Sundays of Lent and Holy Week. Your program host is Father Jim Corda. Today's Gospel for this Tuesday of Holy Week is about two men who each made a terrible mess of things. The one was Judas Iscariot, the other was Simon Peter. We all know their story and their failures. We all know what they did to Jesus in his hour of need. And yet, the one we hold in highest esteem and the other we harbor mixed feelings of contempt and pity. Why is that? They both did terrible things. One denied him in his hour of greatest need and the other betrayed him to his enemies. But the real difference is not necessarily what they did as how they handled their guilt. The same is true for us. How do we handle our guilt in light of the Lord's cross? Judas, for example, chose to wallow in it and floundering in his guilt, he chose to end his life by hanging himself. First of all, that is utterly fruitless. Taking one's own life to the healthy mind accomplishes nothing. I often wonder if Judas had done things differently and gone to Jesus and confessed his guilt and shame and in turn received the Lord's forgiveness and received what Peter received. Guilt and shame are nothing but smoke that suffocates our lives. On the other hand, there are those who rationalize their guilt and shame as if what they did never happened or really doesn't matter all that much. They think of reasons to justify what they have done and in their utter compulsion say that they had no choice. The bottom line is that we need to recognize our guilt for what it is and take responsibility for our own behaviors that is what Simon Peter did. The scriptures said that he regretted what he did and wept bitterly. We know that he asked forgiveness, made restitution, and resolved to move on and ahead and align his life with that of Christ's. As we stand at the foot of the cross, may we lead happy, useful lives and face our guilt openly and honestly.